Hi folks, today is Friday, June 12th, and a couple of good things to talk about today. You know, we've talked about this virus and the knowing of this virus, and we've talked about trying to keep it in sort of four-week cycles, looking back, where were we four weeks ago, looking ahead, where might we be? And um, when we look back four weeks, May 15th, which is just about four weeks ago, uh, was the peak of cases in New Hampshire at uh, just over 2,000 active cases. Yesterday, we were at just over 1,200 active cases. So a significant decline. As a matter of fact, 70% of the folks in New Hampshire who have contracted the disease um, have recovered at this point. So that's, that's good news. Um, yesterday, there were only 34 new cases um, that were identified, 34 new, um, new positive tests. That's the lowest number of positive tests in a day since April 9th. And in April, um, we weren't really doing all that much testing. So that's really positive news. The number of cases, active cases on the C in the Seacoast communities in um, Stratford County and Rockingham County continue to be low. Manchester, the city, uh, continues to have the highest number of cases in Hillsborough County, where Manchester is located, obviously continues to have the highest amongst the counties. But even the city of Manchester is starting to decline. So we're... We're seeing positive trends, and, and that's what we check. So we, what we're watching the data on is um, number of active cases and then new cases per day. And we're using that to sort of guide our decision-making around safety and health for our communities. So uh, where we are today, um, we'll, there's a memo and a chart going out today with some additional guidance based on questions you've asked and some additional guidance based on conversations that um, I've had with our executive directors and with Cindy Martin, who's our VP of Quality, to talk about safety and what's safe to do now. Understanding that there is a, there's a risk to your physical health with this virus, but there's also a risk to your mental health with this virus if we don't um, have the opportunity to do more things. You know, isolation or stagnancy, um, neither of those are good. So hopefully um, that will be well received. Uh, some more things sort of in the approved column. Um, and the other part of that is those will be, those will be the changes we'll make from through now through um, June 30th. And what we'll continue to do over the next several weeks is track the trends, understand what's going on, understand if new cases start to sp spike or peak, um, then we may have to pull back. But if we continue in this sort of positive path of negativity, um, or continue in this positive path of, of new cases declining and the percentage of people who have been infected recovering, then we'll have the opportunity to do more things. And, the, and that's in the chart also. So um, the last thing we'll continue to do over this, so that's what we expect for the next four weeks. And then the last thing we expect for the next four weeks is just to you know, really do as much research as we can in evaluation of these rapid test machines, see if there are rapid test kits available, understand who has the most um, reliable uh, testing opportunities. And I think that's going to be our new normal for a while, particularly heading into the fall where um, some more um, more cases may come, uh, maybe combined with the flu. Um, the, the, the best thing we can continue to do is maintain our patience, wear your mask, stay six feet apart, and wash your hands. And don't touch your face, which I find, if you've ever watched my videos, you know I find that very difficult. Um, but we are, we are moving in the right direction. Um, we hear you. We know how frustrated you are um, by staying put. And we also know how nervous some people are about having the virus enter into the community. So trying to balance those things at all times. Um, and the way we're doing that is by picking some data and watching the trends. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Um, look forward to a memo and a chart coming out. And those will be our guidelines through June 30th. And um, if all goes well, we'll continue to, um, to change and lighten our restrictions heading into July. Thank you. Have a nice day.